Good morning, CHASM listeners. This is Natalie Lowarding with the Stearns NRCS with your weekly conservation report for Saturday, May 18th. A little recap from the previous week. Last Thursday, May 9th, was the annual Middle Sock Water Fest for fourth graders from Sock Center, Melrose, Albany, and Holdingford schools. This event was hosted by the Sock River Watershed District. Both the NRCS and SWCD were in attendance as presenters with activities and knowledge to share. From the SWCD, Ben and Jake taught about the incredible water journey. Students became water molecules traveling through the water cycle with Project Wet's The Incredible Journey game. It was a fun and educational day teaching students why water conservation is important. As for the NRCS, Natalie, Cassidy, and Julie brought along a fun and educational tool called the Five Pan Rainfall Simulator. This tool introduced students to the fascinating world of soil health. The rainfall simulator is a portable device that sprinkles water over different land management practices. We compared how bare soil, reduced tillage, cover crops, prescribed grazing, and CRP land affect soil erosion and water retention. By simulating a rainfall event, the rainfall simulator can visually show how conservation practices can improve soil infiltration, infiltration, reduce runoff, and prevent soil erosion. By seeing these practices in action, students gain valuable knowledge about how to care for our soil as well as how conservation practices work. We hope their newfound knowledge can inspire them to learn about more soil health. Our next update comes from the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Farm Service Agency. They would like to remind agricultural producers that farm loan programs can be used to support a variety of climate smart agricultural practices which build on many practices that farmers and ranchers already use, like cover cropping, nutrient management, and conservation tillage. Climate smart agricultural practices generate significant environmental benefits by capturing and sequestering carbon, improving water management, restoring soil health, and more. FSA offers multiple types of loans to help farmers and ranchers start, expand, or maintain an agricultural operation. These loans can provide the capital needed to invest in climate smart practices and equipment, including the establishment or rotational grazing systems, precision agricultural equipment, or machinery for conservation to no-till residue management. Additionally, for programs like Conservation Reserve Program, otherwise known as CRP, and NRCS conservation programs, the USDA and the producer share the implementation cost. A farm loan could be used for the producer's share, if consistent with the authorized loan process. One more last note on Conservation Report this morning. For those looking for a fun outing for the kids this weekend, Stearns County's Parks will be hosting a Kids to Park Day at the Quarry Park located at 1802 County Road 137, Waite Park, Minnesota 56387, this Saturday, May 18th. The event runs from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You will have the opportunity to explore a variety of activities and booths. The SWCD will partnering with the Sauk River Watershed District with the station focus on microinvertebrates and their importance for indicating water quality. We hope to see you there. This was Natalie Lowerding with the Stearns NRCS signing off for your weekly conservation report.